today we're going a little bit different. We got the blue Zentorno. But any who are from down the block, what the fuck just happened? Okay. No, okay. But anyways, what is going on guys? Lispy Jimmy here, and I hope your day is going as good as mine as I guess. Um I mean my day's going pretty well other than what just fucking happened. But anyways, today we're gonna be talking about some brand new DLC info, adversity modes, daily objectives, and new updates that's coming on March 10th as well with the heist update. So that's really cool. I don't know what just happened there either. Okay! But before we do jump in, be sure to drop this video a like and share this video with your friends, family, grandpa, uncle, nephew, cousin, um, grandpappy, aunt, fucking twin incest brother. I don't know. Back it up and back it up and we fail and we fail but back it up and back it up so rockstar literally just posted this on their newswire but they did state there are going to be some new adversity modes i kind of want to go into that a little bit won't be looking at the screen i mean i'm going to try but they state these brand new player versus player modes bring a range of intense new competitive challenges to gt online adversity modes will unlock as players progress through height so that's really awesome guys these screenshots I want to show you are sick and as well this screenshot you see here is of a new mask that we're gonna be seeing with the update as well so there's a lot of new stuff like I said or as Rockstar has stated there's gonna be a lot of new information that they're gonna be releasing that's coming with the heist update oh these guys just it's the yellow guy you guys know who he is he's a dickhead but since we gotta wait here anyways let's get into the first adversary mode come out to play a team of three runners just trying to make it home and a team of hunters are out for blood runners are well armed but limited to movement by foot while the opposition anyways weld free aim shotguns and ride motorbikes or ATVs hunters must stay on their bikes and have access to unlimited lives while the runners have just one life but all their weapons available to pick off the hunters at will so that's that sick I mean these new game modes that they're adding are pretty sick like this is gonna make the game so much more I guess fun like the, the game is getting boring guys and heist isn't gonna be the only thing that's gonna up it so we're gonna be really they're gonna actually be releasing these modes once we finish a lot of progress in heist and the yellow guys being a dickhead jump right over you bitch oh my god hit the checkpoint please hit the checkpoint land it land it Oh my god! But the next game mode we got here is Siege Mentality. Up to four players stand their ground, outnumbered but not outgunned, as they fight to survive against up to six determined attackers in a location defense mode. GTA style. Attackers have unlimited lives but fight only with sawed off shotguns. Defenders will have full use to all their weapons. That's pretty sick. That's gonna be a really awesome game mode. I don't know how I even made it on the the fucking race I thought I was going off the race I'm not even looking at the game right now but this one looks very interesting we're gonna have to be hunted this is gonna be really fun as well like this is gonna be awesome Hosta La Vista this is a pretty cool one the chase is on as truckers in big rig cabs hunt down a team of cyclists the cyclist goal is simple reach the final checkpoint without getting crushed under the wheels of a pursuing trucks alright that's cool without traditional weapons the truckers must rely solely on their vehicles to crush the cyclists. Meanwhile, the cyclists must harness the maneuverability and the acceleration of their bikes to evade the truckers while keeping an eye over their shoulder. If one of the cyclists reaches the checkpoint, the cyclists win. If all the cyclists are terminated, the truckers will prevail. So that that's that's really cool. I, I think these, these game modes are really interesting. I'm not going to lie to you guys. You guys may notice that I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing in this race. It's because I'm trying to read this to you. So now we're going to get into the daily objectives. So the Los Santos Daily Hustle just got a little more lucrative. Whether you tend towards jobs or free roam activities, daily objectives will give you a rotating series of challenges to take on the GTA cash rewards. With three new objectives per day, players can stack up challenges over constructive days to earn bonuses up to 500,000. Now, challenges are already in the game, but that is going to be one of the... This is another way to make money. Thank you, Rockstar. Let's just, let's just give a moment of silence real quick to Rockstar. Thank you for adding in a new method to make fucking money in GTA. Thank you. This is a thank you to me, and a, probably a thank you from everyone else in the GTA world. Now I am going to DNF, but I want to go over the last activity with you guys. These are new free mode activities. You and your fellow players also have new opportunities to cash and rewards 
or RP rewards with new activities added to the world in free mode. Be on the lookout for calls from Lester, who may need to help distract the cops in a specific area while Lester accomplices finish their criminal business. Lamar may call for looking to help destroying a vehicle or two, while Trevor and Ron need occasional help picking their business rivals' planes out of the sky. Along with GTA Cash and RP bonuses, there are all new awards available for competing. There are all new rewards available for completing these challenges with style. So that's really cool, guys. I'm really interested and intrigued to see how this is all going to work. This is really interesting. Be sure to drop this video a like if you guys did go on to enjoy. I'm sorry I couldn't really finish the race the really, you know, the way I wanted to, but I really wanted to update you guys with this information. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to drop this video a like and share it with your friends, family, grandma, grandpa, uncle, nephew, cousin, your half-twin brother Moses. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope to catch you in my next GT Online video.